Uh, so AWS uh, made an announcement that said 90% of Alexa inference workloads are done on its own inf one um, instances. And essentially that is their own homegrown infrastructure uh, chip for inference workloads. And uh, if, if you're at home watching, essentially, uh, you know, there's training where you're training the model and that's about 10% of the cost and 90% of the cost is on inference. And, and that's what uh, they're doing. And that's very big because for the most part, uh, that's done uh, owned by CPUs and by uh, NVIDIA GPUs. And to have uh, uh, a web scale company uh, do their own, I think is is super, super uh, impressive. And let me just give you uh, some of the recent claims uh, that it's that it's um, that it's making uh, right now. So essentially, AWS said it will bring costs down 37 percent of a P3 instance and latency down by by 19 percent. And, and then when you compare it to uh, a GPU, you're looking at 25% uh, lower latency and a 30% reduction in cost over the latest uh, NVIDIA uh, uh, inference chips. And really, it's kind of ironic that, that the rest of the industry hasn't challenged uh, NVIDIA, but a partner of NVIDIA and a cloud service provider has. And a lot of this magic uh, came from uh, the acquisition that that Amazon made of a company called Annapurna. And I know as we've all studied up, uh, uh, Annapurna was primarily uh, the offload uh, engine uh, that, that it used for uh, networking offload, uh, storage offload, uh, and, 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 and management. Uh, what that same team uh, also cranked out Graviton2 which is the ARM-based uh, EC2, and it also uh, cranked out uh, these Inferentia uh, chips. So um, very similar uh, to what we've seen from Apple uh, with its M1 chips, and previous to that, uh, Bionic chips is using semiconductors, using silicon uh, to uh, have a strategic advantage over your competitors and you know, I'll add this because vendors like to say this uh, and provide a better experience. Absolutely, Pat. The investments that uh, Amazon and AWS are making in, in competencies and chips is going to serve the company very well in the long run. It's picking its spots right now. It's getting into some very specific areas, um, you know, focusing on some cores in terms of the, the data center and then in terms of AI with Inferentia. Uh, I was impressed, Pat, and then reading your Forbes article, which, by the way, we'll throw in the show notes so everyone can see it. Great article. Um, there really are some great cost efficiencies here. And one of the things I do love about this is just the democratization of AI. It's so many companies can benefit with AWS being the leader globally in infrastructure um, used by more companies and more spaces. These instances become available to every company that have data in the cloud on AWS and it becomes widely available and usable at a continuously lower cost. And so developing these cores and, and these capabilities becomes something that becomes an immediate return to, of investment. By the way, I see the whole cloud industry, Pat, the whole hyperscale space making moves to follow suit. But AWS has been a leader here, has been able to jump out in front. Uh, speaking of the ARM deal and NVIDIA, uh, even with the P4D launch um, in some other sp spots, of Amazon and AWS are really making sure that all of the most sophisticated AI for training and for inference are being made available in its cloud to be quickly deployed and affordable to companies that are leveraging its infrastructure. So this was impressive, Pat. And by the way, really nice piece. If you're out there, definitely read this because uh, Pat digs into some of the deets that uh, even I had no idea about. Well, it is fun. I do. Uh, I do talk directly to the creators of, of Inf, Inf One and and Inferentia chips. So it's a lot of uh, a lot of fun. It is fun to uh, to see chips in action. You know, I was really fighting up. I felt like I was fighting upstream about five years ago. Whether people saw uh, people were saying semiconductors were a commodity, and I just I just laugh now because it's it's like uh, semiconductors and SaaS. Those are the two the two bookends that I think are going to uh, drive uh, growth uh, into the future.